Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a DIY video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to upcycle and revamp your vases using a really easy DIY chalk paint, which I'm gonna show you guys how to make. And it's just gonna give your vases this really ceramic textured look and a Navian minimalist look, which is really in at the moment. So if you guys are interested, then just keep watching. So I just wanted to mention that this video was inspired by a YouTuber, Emily Faith. So I will leave her video in the description box below if you want to check that out as well. So today I have baking soda and I have baking powder. I actually used the baking powder yesterday and I felt like it was a bit runny with my paint because I'm using just normal craft acrylic paint. And then so today I want to try and use the baking soda and apparently it's supposed to give like much more of a texture so i'm really keen to see how it works so yeah let's get started okay so for today's video i decided to revamp these vases that i got at mr price now they are such beautiful vases the colors on the other hand is not my favorite but i mean as long as the structure is nice we can sort that out and then another thing that i also want to redo are, is my tea and um, sugar canisters so the plan for my vases is that i want to first prime them and make them this like really white color so i have like a clean canvas to work with and then i'm gonna do some really cool bohemian patterns on them so all i'm gonna do now is just prep the paint and i'm gonna just paint all of them completely white So what I've noticed with painting the first vase is that the bicarbonate of soda gives the vases a really like textured look if you can see that compared to when I use the baking powder it didn't really give it this very textured look it had more of like a um, clay look if I could say that so if you don't want texture I would definitely recommend using the baking powder okay so i'm done with all my vases and i love how they look i really would recommend the baking soda if you want that more like textured um, ceramic look but yeah so now i'm going to start with the canisters and basically i don't really have like a clear vision of how i want it to look but i know that i don't want to paint everything i still want it to be glass so I think I want I want to make it like half glass, half ceramic looking. Um, so I'm just using some cello tape and I'm just going to tape off. I wish I had thicker cello tape, but I don't. So this is going to be a mission. So I'm thinking to make them like alternate. So for my sugar canister, I'm going to have the uh, ceramic color on the top and then for the tea at the bottom. Here are all the vases and the two canisters and I'm just letting them dry before I put on the second coat. Okay, so while I'm waiting for those vases to dry, I wanted to show you guys what I did yesterday. I didn't video it because I was just trying it out, but this is basically the type of texture you're going to get if you use baking powder. It's honestly a very soft, more like a chalky texture. I love how the marble coloring came out let me know if you want to see a video on how i got this done okay so i let the vases dry for a while i think it's been like one hour or something so what i'm thinking i'm going to do is is i'm going to mix the um, paint and this time i'm going to add 
baking powder and then I'm gonna do the second coat in basically the other style of painting because I really like the texture but I'm not liking how it's looking so yeah let's do that So I'm just going to repeat this process for all of the vases and then I'll show you guys how it looks afterwards. So this is how they're looking after two coats and as you can see the texture is still there but it's like much more evenly covered now and basically what I'm thinking is that I want to, this was the pink one before that, so with the pink one I want it to be completely white, I'm going to keep it completely white and then with this one I'm thinking of making it having the boho pattern on it and then with this one i'm thinking of actually painting it half of another color so yeah and then with the jars they're also covered up pretty nice but i'm just gonna go over it again with some um paint so i'm gonna start painting this one so i will insert a picture on the side so you can see basically the vibe that i'm going for but i basically mix some top paint and it's really simple all you need is your white acrylic paint a few like basically just a drop of black tint and about one or two drops of brown tint but honestly it depends on what you are going for you're gonna obviously get something different um and then yeah you just mix it and then all i'm gonna do is paint like a line around this Okay, so for this one, I'm thinking of doing some rectangles. I, ooh, I'm so nervous because I'm not sure how it's going to turn out or look. We're just going to wing this. So basically just... Using the shape of the brush and going down with it. I'll show you on this side. I'm basically just smudging the brush. Okay, and then last but not least is the sugar and tea containers. So as you remember, I only painted half of it. What I do is I actually think I'm going to paint this, this color, and then I'm going to have the tea container in this nice top color and then the sugar container is gonna be white i think that would be quite cute i don't know we're just gonna have to see <laughs> So this was the pink vase if you can remember and I just wanted to go for something really simple, minimalist and Scandinavian. That is basically been my theme for all of these vases. If you can look really closely you can see all of the texture that it has and like I told you guys I just went over it with um, normal paint just to like you know make it a bit smoother but i absolutely love how it came out oh my gosh i am so happy guys about this transformation next one was the yellow mastery color now i won't lie that color definitely grew on me but guys how cute does this look i love the white and i love this little brush technique that i did in a top paint so pretty and it honestly just came out so nice this is definitely one of my favorite ones next one is the small bulb one which was this dark burgundy color and like i showed you guys i went for like the stripe one so i did do it freestyle so it's a bit more natural but i really love this top color it is so gorgeous and so natural and i just really love how it came out the last was the tea and sugar canisters but i feel like once i get these lids spray painted it's definitely gonna make it look a bit better but i really love how this one came out like having it on the bottom so i might still change it i'm not sure but it definitely was a great revamp so I really hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video. Honestly, this was one of my favorites. 
and oh my gosh i've been putting it off for so long because i wasn't sure what i wanted to do with the vases but i'm so happy with how they came out i honestly am so happy guys and yeah i just really hope you guys learn something from it and i'm gonna try it out yourself if you do definitely tag me on it in instagram don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it really does help support and grow my channel don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys